I've never heard of the circular economy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. The circular economy? I have way no idea. Actually means nothing to me. <laughs> I've heard the term, but I'm not really clear on exactly what it means. It makes sense to me that the economy is inherently um, systemic and systematic and therefore lends itself to circularity, but I don't know anything about the circular economy. I imagine circular economy has to do with goods or resources you know, moving in a, in, a, in a very circular fashion um, through different different air stages of the economy. So maybe like energy in and then energy out in this very kind of circular like feedback input output kind of mode. This activity is designed to put your mind in the frame of reference of connections beyond sustainability regarding many aspects of the economy, not just natural resources, and to identify solutions for real-world problems that may keep an economy linear. Each card set consists of a main card and six smaller cards in a pocket on the back. Each main card has a description of a business or organization, its products or services, and role in the community. Each main card also has a list of inputs required to make the business operate or perform the service they perform. Three of the six smaller cards are outputs. Each lists one output generated by the business during standard operation. Each person is to look at their outputs and connect it to another person's input. The other three cards in the pocket are innovation cards. These are available if a connection can possibly be made given a new industry, technology, policy, process, or social innovation can bridge the gap. The junk pile sits in the middle of the table, and this is where all the outputs without an immediate home go. In an ideal world, everyone starts with three cards and ends with three different cards. However, this is not an ideal world, so the goal is to see where the gaps in the system are occurring, and with the help of the innovation cards, see what might be done to start building bridges that create a truly circular economy. I learned that it is based on some sort of concept of recycling and every, using everything in the snow. This is a lot of fun, actually. Um, this is very reminiscent of my generation growing up, where I grew up on a small farm in North Carolina, where nothing goes to waste and everything is used. And if you need something you don't have, you go borrow it from your neighbor. Um, I can see this working very well in a corporate industrial environment if everybody would just cooperate. I learned that my educated guess about what the circular economy was was, was pretty was pretty right, but this uh, this helped me kind of more solidify how it involves different individual kind of manufacturing and companies and parts of the economy um, and the inputs outputs there. <laughs> I still know nothing about the circular economy. So this facilitation being, this is the CISPO family meeting, and these are all people that spend a vast majority of their time thinking about science and technology policy related issues, so I guess on the one hand it shouldn't have been that surprising that none of the waste ended up where <laughs> the waste always does. Um, but um, uh, yeah, I still, I wasn't expecting that to happen, so uh, this is the third time we've run the facilitation now, and uh, yeah, the outcome was pretty different, but I'd say the liveliness of the discussion was fairly um, like on par with, with other facilitations that we've done. And also it's interesting just to see what different innovations come about every time, because everyone has different idea, and one time, you know, someone had a nuclear waste uh, innovation in one of our other um, and they were taking nuclear waste and using yeah. it as jet fuel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting to see what people come up with. So we've developed this game um, for the Harlem Amir Beyond Sustainability team at the uh, Walton Sustainability Solution Services. And so the initial plan was that they would use this game 
um, in the municipality of Harlem Amir in the Netherlands as the municipality goes through their transition to a circular economy. And then in the second version, um, instead of being told your character card, you actually write down what company or what government entity you represent at that table so that the interactions, the, the trades that are going on are, actual, are actually indicative of the types of trades that could be going on in the economy. That was the broad goal of this. Yes. <laughs> Not only is it educational and getting people to understand what the circular economy is, but for in preparation for that second round, getting people who might not agree on things to sit around and work together for the first one, which generic, to hopefully then help facilitate conversation around the real case scenario.